Hi everybody, Doug Hippie here again for another EAC Product Development Solutions Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk a little bit about tolerance boundaries and dimension boundaries. These are uh, applications that you can use in the event that you would like to uh, create tooling in the middle of a specific tolerance or maybe at the high end or the low end of a specific tolerance. You can drive this capability either feature-based or it can be done throughout the entire model. For example, let's take a look at this part that I see right here. When I go over to the drawing, you're going to notice that the drawing itself has a unilateral tolerance. So the 80 diameter that's in the middle of this part has a plus 0.03 plus 0.06 tolerance. So if I'm a machinist, a tool maker, or somebody that needs to make a tool for this, or if I need to uh, machine this part, I want three-dimensional data that's going to sit right in the middle of that dimensional tolerance so that I don't have to compensate for it at the machine tool. So let's take a look on how you can help your downstream applications in your 3D application very quickly and easily. So I'm going to come back over here and just for kicks, I'm going to use the new Measure tool in Creo 2.0. It's a great tool, and you'll notice that uh, the Measure tool allows you to have a summary measurement, Light measurements, distance measurements, angle measurements, diameter measurements, area measurements, and volume measurements, all from one common dialog box. In this case here, I'm going to uh, take a look at the diameter on the interior of this part. This is that diameter that has that unilateral tolerance. Okay, and just for fun, I'm also going to save this analysis. So in this case here, I'm going to say, let's save it. You could give it a name, whatever you might want to have it, whatever makes most sense. Now I've got it saved, and now when I exit, you're going to notice that the flag or the dialog box for that dimension has been anchored. So I can move this around wherever I'd like to have, I can expand it, and I can collapse it to get it out of my way. So let's take a look now at how you create this dimensional boundary. I'm going to go into the Analysis tab, go over to the Tolerance Analysis area, and I'm going to pick on Dimension Boundaries. In the dimension boundaries, I can just set selected features if I would like. In this case, I'm going to say, let's just do all of them, and let's set those in the middle of my dimensional tolerance. Once I've got that set, I can just say, I'm done. You'll notice that I get a regeneration of the part model. Now, take a look at that measurement that I've got up here. You'll notice now that that diameter of my geometry is actually set right smack dab in the middle of that unilateral tolerance. So as I export this model, or if I hand it over to my Creo Parametric NC programmer, they've got this set at the middle, and they don't have to worry about making that compensation either during the program or at the machine tool itself. Now, let's go back and take a look at the drawing just to see what impact it has on the drawing. Absolutely nothing. It's still going to notice what that nominal dimension is, and it's also going to have that, that tolerance in there. So... In order to help those people in their downstream applications, this is something you should consider if you've got tooling that's going to be built or if you've got some programming that needs to occur downstream. If you'd like more information on how to do this and make this happen, feel free to reach out to your EAC product development account manager and tell them that you saw it on one of Doug's EAC PDS tips of the week. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week.